Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk about I'm just a cheapy guy, you know. Come on, uh, we I'm a prostitute, darling. We gotta talk to you. I gotta get you an agent. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, he doesn't call, have one, yeah. My neighbor just called a pimp. <laughs> See, I knew that was gonna be Here we go. Jesus okay. God, this, this makes my nipples hard. Uh, isn't that great? Yeah. Now, we're going to be off enjoy. mic here a little bit. <laughs> Can you hear him all right? We used to, yeah, we, used to, we love some good sound. Don't yeah, we? we want sound. We, we, we want Bose quality. That's right. Now, if you have to sit down to get comfortable, I'm you want to do that? At Kmart prices. I hate to be, I don't want to be a producer, but. Uh, you know. No, no, no. You, I, I'm going to interview you now. Okay. Me. I'll shut up. So will I. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> okay. Rim right. shots for everybody. Shotgun Tom, we need to know. Uh, how you got the name Shotgun? Because we all thought it was something you had done to yeah. somebody. No. You know, and you were incarcerated. No, and it wasn't uh, the. Uh, it can, wasn't... Wait, can I touch the hat? Am I allowed to touch the hat? Oh, you're all. You can touch anything on me. Well, almost. Let's start with the hat. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, well, uh, no, and it's not. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people think it's a drug days. You know, with a shotgun, you put the joint uh, in where you know, and blow the smoke. That right. wasn't it either. There's a lie, and there's a, a truth. Which one would you like? Well, I like both, but let's have, let's take them in order. Let's first of all lie to me because lie. I love to okay. be lied to. Okay, I was. Uh, yeah. Wait, we lost Landecker. Yeah, well, it's a <laughs> He'll boring be story. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go. When you gotta go, John, you gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, follow and... John to the bathroom. No, no, that's no. okay. <laughs> that's we, right. we, we, we no, that's, hold... that's organic. <laughs> Very. <I'll say. laughs> Very. Hold, uh, since he was sitting down when you had to go, we could like hold off the story. <laughs> Until you get back. I got to go. <laughs> Knock yourself out. I plan to. Okay. Okay. Quite literally. All right. Shall we hold off the story until John No, no, John, I'll, I'll, I'll paraphrase it. Okay, good. Okay. So go ahead and re-ask the question. Okay, so there's two stories. There's the truth, and there's the one that really didn't happen, but you got a job out of it. How I became Shotgun Tom. Yeah. Yes. Or Shotgun. Well, uh... Yeah, you said you wanted to hear the lie first. Yeah. Okay. I developed the lie when I was sitting in for a weatherman in San Diego, Mike Ambrose. And I was doing the weather, uh, you know, when he was sick or something, I don't know, or on vacation. So anyway, uh, the anchor man, you know, was introducing me. Hey, we have Shotgun Tom Kelly sent in for Mike Ambrose tonight, going to do the, do the weather. And, and uh, Shotgun, we, we'd kind of like to know how you got the name Shotgun. Well, as you know, you only have five minutes to do the weather, and I had some things to cover, and I didn't want to eat up any of that five minutes uh, by a stupid uh, story about how I got the name Shotgun. So I turned to Mitch, I said, well, Mitch, you know, it uh, stems from my childhood. When I was a little boy, I never liked to ride in the back seat. I always liked to ride in the front seat next to my dad, and of course, that is Shotgun. Now, let's step into the uh, national weather map right now, <laughs> then, you know, and then I got back, uh, so that's the lie. Now. All right, now let's hear the true story. Okay, now here's the truth. You're our Shotgun Tom Kelly. Yes. Kelly's the real name, right? No. Oh, it's not. No. Sh should it be? No. I, <laughs> I want to know what's going on here. Oh, no. My, no, no. The real name is Irwin. Tom Irwin. But uh, Shotgun Tom Irwin just didn't have the ring. All right. Kelly. You like that? Because I'm Scotch-Irish. Oh, okay. A lot of people think I'm Jewish, though. <laughs> Yavoy! Yeah, no, no, that's wrong! <laughs> Oy vey! Oy vey! Yeah, that's they're, it, that's you just did it backwards. You must be... <laughs> right! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we just told the lie. Now we're going to tell the truth. Uh, how I got the name I got to tell you about going to the bathroom last night. Did you know that uh, there's a guy in the bathroom to collect some money when you go to the toilet? Oh, oh you know where the hotel? The Crown Plaza last night, yeah. I did not go to the public. No, so, so I went to the bathroom. I was I was standing next to Art Polo, you know, and we both did our business, you know. We right, right. Did what we had to do at the urinal. And then after I was through, I tipped the guy, you know, and Art says, that's for both of us. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. 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 I always love to pause for yeah, well, Joy we're Reynolds' we're story. Come <laughs> we have to have breaks. All right, you now, know. why do we have Shotgun Tom? Kelly, we, we know now that you you have an Irish in your blood, so right. you chose the name Kelly. It's more rhythmic rather than Irwin or yeah. Irvin. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Shotgun Tom now becomes the issue. Why is it Shotgun and Tom? Okay. Tom's your real name. Tom is my real name. Okay. Yes, yes. We got that. Uh, so anyway, I was at a radio station and uh, in, in Ventura, K-A-C-Y, yeah. and the program director, uh, I was waiting to go. I was going to be the all-night guy. 
And uh, I think this is 1970 or something like that. So anyway, I'm waiting in the lobby. I'm very excited to go on the air uh, because I just came from Merced to do the online show. And, and that was a step up uh, to ACY in Ventura uh, or Oxnard, Port Wanimi. So anyway, uh, the, uh, the uh, program director came in and said, hi, Bobby. And I go, uh, no, my name's Tom. Uh, well, no, you're Bobby. You're Bobby McAllister if you go to work here. I go, okay. So, and I kind of hated that name, Bobby McAllister. So anyway, I used that for a while. And uh, a guy by the name of Dave Conley, uh, who was the jock on before me, said, coming up next, it's Bobby Shotgun McAllister. <laughs> and I go, God, that puts a ring on to it. You know, Joey? Bobby Shotgun McAllister. That's kind of nice. I said, so, hey, this is Bobby Shotgun McAllister on KACY, the boss of the beach, you know. So I did that for a while. And uh, so anyway, uh, Dave decided to be program director at Caffey in Bakersfield. And he wanted to take me with me. Or he wanted to take me with him. That's right. right. Uh, I got that. I get, I, I'm just, uh, I, uh, backwards stuff. Right. So anyway, we went to Bakersfield. And uh, so anyway. Uh, wait, wait, Lando, because you got to take a call. Yeah, oh, Lando, yes. Sir. Take the call. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Oh, there we go. Do you do you have your your jingle as a Hello. as a uh, ringer a ringtone? I have the KHJ News. What? Uh, oh, no. logo. <laughs> dun dun dun. That's what I have. <laughs> CKLW. Yes, Wait. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, but anyway, they were all good. All right, yeah. so you were, you're off to Bakersfield. Yeah, I'm off to Bakersfield. So anyway, you had too much Kathy. Yeah, yeah, but now listen. I didn't like Bobby McAllister, so I wanted to use my real name, Joey. All right. Tom Irwin. So you'd be Shotgun Tom Irwin. So I'd be Shotgun Tom Irwin. No good. Well, the general manager, the general manager did not like the last name Irwin. He's and he was Jewish, and he says, uh, you know, I really don't like the last name Irwin. Uh, I don't mind using Tom, uh, but how about uh, how about changing the last name? to uh, something else. Uh, what's your nationality? And I said, well, I'm uh, Scotch-Irish. Uh, he said, well, how about uh, Tom Mc... No, I've already had McAllister. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, how about how about Tom Collins? No, no, that sounds like a drink. I don't want to do that. Okay, how about this? How about Tom Carson? Yeah, 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 Tom. No, it's too much like Johnny Carson. I don't want that either. He said, well, let's see, Scotch-Irish. Irish. Irish um, how about Kelly? About Tom Kelly, and then Dave Conley said, "Yeah, we'll revive the shotgun from Bobby Shotgun McAllister, and we'll call you Shotgun Tom Kelly." So that's how it happened. Good. So it's it's. Well, that's a long, drawn out, boring no, story. No, it's not boring. It's it your is? life. Your life is not boring. Oh, okay. So how many years have we? Well, have I'm been? trying to get out out of self, and 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 sometimes when people ask me about that, I feel like I'm getting back into self. Who's your therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Fire her. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now, when yes. I patted mine on the ass. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. And she said, you're going to be here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, you've had Chuck and Tom Kelly for about 20 years now. Yeah, and I, I'm oh. very fortunate. In a, a radio station, a radio station, they didn't want to change it. They just wanted to keep it. Well, you know, I changed my name, too. I mean, uh, someone changed But you've it. always been Joey Reynolds, haven't you? No. No, it, you haven't. No. I was Joey Pinto, and the and the guy I worked for decided that it was not a good name because it wasn't generic. You know, it was it was ethnic. Remember, in those days, we were not using ethnic names. Yeah. We were we were trying to avoid that. Mm -hmm. We wanted to blend. Now we don't want to blend. We want to stand out. Yeah. You know. So now, when when you were shotgun Tom Kelly, this is my question. I really never asked you this person. I know you really haven't. Uh, when you, uh, it's going to sound strange. Did you have an identity crisis at all, at, at any time? You know, I mean, did you become another person? You mean from Tom Irwin to Shotgun Tom yeah. Kelly? Well, that's a good question. You know, Joey Reynolds always comes up with the good questions, the questions that have never been asked before. Uh, I may have, because um, I felt plenty boss yeah. by being Shotgun Tom Kelly. Uh, now, there are some people that didn't like the shotgun. Uh, the only time it was going to possibly be changed was when Charlie Van Dyke hired me at Boss Radio 136 KGB in San Diego. Uh, I started using Shotgun Tom Kelly, and I think it was either Bill Drake or Bill Watson. 
Uh, can we drop the shotgun and just call him Tom oh. Kelly? Yeah, so. Well, they ruined them, it. I know. Well, they did. They ruined it when for you, a while. When you did a kid's television show, it was okay. Oh, now, the, well, now, my first kid's television show was in Bakersfield on Channel 23. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I did that on the weekends. I was Nemo the Clown. Oh. And in makeup and everything. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, and also a friend of yours, uh, Randy West, saw an old picture of me as Nemo the Clown, and he says, God, you look like John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, no, that was my <laughs> that was my first kid show. But then I, uh, I moved on to San Diego, and uh, uh, then I got fired at KGB and hired over at KCBQ, and they liked the shotgun, and so I was shotgun Tom Kelly at KCBQ working for Buzz Bennett. And uh, Rich Brother Robin. And you and, met you met Bozo last night. Bozo. And I met Bozo last night because right. we both have the yeah. uh, the uh, child uh, the kid TV show thing. I had two of those. I had the Words of Poppin' show, uh, which I did uh, for uh, McGraw Hill Broadcasting. Did that for five seasons. Won two Emmy awards for that. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, I went over uh, to uh, across the street to do mornings at B100. And when I was doing that, uh, I I got uh, a job at uh, KUSI TV, which was an independent station, and uh, I was doing uh, their KUSI Kids Club in the morning and afternoon. And uh, actually, this is after I got fired. I, I, I say I got fired again. I, yeah. After four years at B100, I got fired, and that's when I really did the the TV thing full time. So I I had the KUSI Kids Club in the morning and the afternoon. I was the booth announcer. Did you ever go out on a date in that clown's outfit? Back in Bakersfield? Yeah. No, I didn't. But wouldn't that be a freaky thing? Yeah. That would be. It would something. be like you hear these sounds of people walking all across your head, yeah. like we're hearing right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Because we're in the basement of Art Bolo's house. Yeah. Yeah. During his birthday party. Yeah, and this, by the way, this is a very famous uh, basement because this is where the CKLW That's right. documentary. That's was right. Oh, yeah. Part of it. Yeah. Nice. And here's the backdrop. Yep. Did you ever go to a clown's funeral? No, but I've heard about them. Yeah, there were about forty or fifty guys piled into one car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> John Landecker, I got him to laugh. I can't believe it. Yeah. John, John never laughs at anything I say for three oh, years. Yeah. Now why don't we bring Landecker in? We, we gotta should. ask him about records. We gotta ask him. Yeah, yeah. Come on, John. that's a good idea.